All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is setting up your giveaway. And um, you'll find the giveaway section over here on the left toolbar. And uh, I'm just in a test account at this point, and we're testing out some new features here. And I'm going to walk you through the current setup or how, how to set up your first giveaway. So uh, basically here is the title of your giveaways, and you'll see how to label these uh, on the inside of the setup dashboard and the date it was created, how many signups you have, if you want to edit it, view it, and or delete it. So we're going to go do um, create a new giveaway, and we're going to select the fan page um, that we want it associated with, and I'll show you why that matters uh, shortly. Uh, there's two, two different templates right now. We're going to be adding some more of those uh, here soon. Um, and you can do the template here that we have, or the one that I use quite a bit so I can customize it is this, because I want to customize the top, you know, the top, the bottom, and the fonts and stuff like that. So uh, for this example, we're going to use uh, just a basic, um, you know, customize your own. And, and really, there's not tons of customization that you can do. However, um, that will change in the future. So you'll be able to customize this. Let's see here. Now, you want to kind of keep your URL short here because by default, Social Post Pilot, um, this is the URL that we're posting under. So we're just going to call this Paul uh, because we're going to upload a, uh, a bracelet to give away. Uh, for this example. Now, the one thing you're going to want to be careful here is that you can actually upload your own logo that will be placed over uh, top of uh, one of the sections on the thing on the uh, landing page. So that cannot be bigger than 300 by 300 pixels and keep it under two megabytes. Otherwise, you'll get a glitch here. And, and by the time this video is showing up, um, and you're using Social Post Pilot, we will have all of that stuff in there. So we're going to choose, uh, let's see here, uh, let's choose this. I don't even know what it looks like 100%. Um, giveaway title, we're going to call this, this is what's going to show up in your dashboard so you know um, UK Paul bracelet. So you know what um, giveaway that you're looking at within your user dashboard. So be sure to label that here, something that's familiar. Um, the user won't see, the, or the, the visitor won't see this. Oh, this is only for your eyes. Uh, banner text is gonna be no purchase necessary. Let's just use that for now. And here you're gonna to wanna to put in some type of sponsor link. There's an opportunity for you to monetize your list by sending them to uh, some type of CPA offer or a t-shirt or uh, Amazon affiliate link or whatever. But you're going to want to do that here. And let's just, for this, for just fun, we're going to go uh, make sure you put HTTP in here. Um, and then we're just going to send them to uh, a cat shirt. So you can also do your retargeting pixels for your landing page here, for your Facebook retargeting pixel. And this will be the URL that you copy in. And as you can see here, that's the same up here. If we change this to one, two, three, that will change down here. And the reason we put this in here is that when you're setting up your uh, retargeting audience, uh, you're going to have to copy this URL in here. So we didn't want you to have to save uh, the actual contest and then go back and, you know, enter in your retargeting URL or the URL that you want to retarget on. We don't want you to have to go back and do that. So whatever you enter here is going to populate down here. So let's just put that paw and you can see that here changes. So you would take this URL over to Facebook and enter it in for your retargeting audience. But for this example, we're just going to do this. And you can also for your, uh, this is for the landing page. So as soon as somebody hits that, or not the, yeah, the landing page for the giveaway, they're automatically added to a Facebook list and a retargeting list. Uh, here's your conversion pixels. Now, once a person hits the landing page or the thank you page for the giveaway, then, uh, you know, if you have your conversion pixel installed, this will um, count as a conversion. So here is the nice header. Oh, let's just put something real in here. Let's call it uh, when this Kentucky paw bracelet. Body description, no purchase necessary enter one time to to be eligible 
share if you like. We would appreciate it. Good luck. So prize name is Kentucky Ball Bracelet. We're going to choose that image for the bracelet here. Again, and we don't have it in here yet, but you're going to want to keep this image uh, under 2 megabytes. Otherwise, uh, it'll throw up a glitch on you. Uh, we've already integrated the AWeber, so we're just going to add them to a particular list here. And then we're going to create the giveaway. All right, so we got UK Paul bracelet here. Let's go over and take a look at it and see how it looks. So there it is. Now, it's a three-step process. Really, as soon as they hit the landing page, um, they are hit with that retargeting pixel, so you can add them to a list immediately. Um, so let's just walk down through this. Here's where you could put a logo. This is probably a little bit too big. You want to put something a little bit smaller. Uh, no purchase necessary, Kentucky Paul bracelet. Put some type of description here and then connect with Facebook. Remember whenever I said you had to select the page? So this is the name of my page. So this pre-populates all of the disclaimers and stuff that's required by Facebook. So that's why you have to select a fan page so that um, you know it will pre-populate for the giveaway page and uh, will stay Facebook compliant. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to enter this ourselves and click here. And there you go. Thanks for registering. Your entry has been submitted. Uh, this may change up in the future a little bit, depending on what Facebook requires us to do. And we might make it to where there's a, a share button here. So if you're in one of the later, later versions of Social Post Pilot, you may see the option to share here before they get to a sponsor page. So basically what happens here is if they click here and view our sponsor, then it will go to a t-shirt. All right. So that's really what you want. And, and really, you can put a, a CPA offer or you could do um, uh, win an Amazon gift card and then send them to some type of CPA offer or like an iPhone thing or something like that. The, the options are limitless what you can do. Now, you can see here as you go back for this particular account that we're doing the demonstration videos for, um, it will keep track of your signups here and you'll know how many people you signed up for that list. And we will have uh, another feature here very soon. Uh, it's almost integrated now where you'll actually be able to choose a winner randomly as well. Here's the AWeber notification to show you that the uh, subscriber was added to that list. Also, here's the first email that goes out to them. So I basically just got Amazon affiliate links and stuff like that in here and Amazon t-shirts and things of that nature. So that is pretty much how it works. You can really do some awesome stuff with this, doing giveaways. Uh, that's it. Let's wrap up now, and that's it. See ya.